Congratulations to you, man. I heard you just Appreciate closed it. on three multi-million dollar contracts. Three. Yes, bro. yes. That was, that was, yeah. Then your wife left you. 13 days prior to signing those contracts. Life, bro. So are you asking a question? Or? Yeah, I guess the question is, man, how, like, did that make you be like, well, maybe this is timing. It just is what it is. Or like, did you have any type of reservations about that? I had a revelation. And the revelation is young kings focus on the bag. After you get the bag, choose what's best for you. Not what you want. Choose what's best for you. Before you get to the bag, do your due diligence to pray to whoever it is you pray to or meditate that your blessings actually be on hold until you are aligned with your destiny so that you don't lose your blessings. It's gonna hurt, it's gonna f with you. You're gonna miss out on a whole lot of sleep. You're gonna cry your eyes out. However, I need you to understand Focus on your bag, pray, meditate, that you have the discernment to have people in your life who are going to elevate you and not suck you dry. Deal with the pain shit later. Focus on your bag. You heard it. Men should focus on their life and their money. Because once you have that settled and taken care of, women will come crawling from every part of this world to be with you. And when that happens, you have to be smart enough to choose the best partner according to your needs. We put weeks into this thousands of dollars into this I do understand I sir please stop please stop is somebody gonna pay me sir I'm just asking you to stop it's not your house to destroy this is, it is your, my property this, this is, is my property ours. I have receipts for everything yes ma'am I do understand that you have receipts. Stop. that's not taking back your stuff that's it is our stuff. This is how we need to take it back because we solidly built the construction. Unfortunately, so it just fall off. I'm more than happy to deal with the place. More than happy. More than happy. Let me tell you something. No contractor in the state of Colorado will fix that when they found out I took it back because you refused to pay me. No one. If this clip is true, then he has every right to destroy that place. And what kind of person is she who refuses to pay for the hard-earned labor of a man? She should be ashamed of herself for being such an entitled brat. AI Tay for not paying for my girlfriend's girls trip? Hey TikTok, I need your help with a weird situation. Here's what happened. My girlfriend Sarah and I have been together for three years. Recently I won a bet and got a pretty nice sum of money. I was super excited. I immediately thought we could go somewhere together for a little trip to celebrate my win. But here's where the drama starts. Sarah found out about my win and had a different idea. She wants me to pay for her trip with her friends. Wait, what? Don't get me wrong, I love Sarah, and I want her to have a great time. But using my winnings for something that doesn't involve me at all feels a bit off. I suggested she save up for the trip herself or that we split the cost, but no, she was firm. She said that since we're a couple, my win is our win. Am I being selfish? Really? Her friends, of course, supported her, and now I feel like the bad guy. But here's the catch. Should I really feel guilty for wanting to decide how to use my winnings? Does that make me the jerk? I'm looking for your opinions because I don't know what to think anymore. Am I wrong for not wanting to pay for Sarah's trip with her friends? Should I reconsider? Let me know what you would do in my situation. A man should never pay for anything for a girl who has such an entitled mindset. But this is the clown world we are currently living in where women don't think twice about demanding anything from men. And when a guy refuses to pay for it, then the guilt tripping, emotional manipulation starts. And there's literally only one thing that women want you to understand, and it's this. <laughs> you know, I had the best of intentions of letting it go on for a while, but I had to jump in here and say, one thing, really? Every man knows you ladies have a long laundry list of things that you expect from men. Most of them completely absurd and ridiculous, which I'm willing to bet is going to be the exact case here. So to claim there's only one thing, well, let's just say you're not starting off on the right foot. But go on. You doing something because we've asked you to do it is not the same thing as just says to your wife or girlfriend, 
hey babe yeah just like whatever you need me to do i'll do it like whatever cleaning you need help with just like tell me what to do my god what a monster he is actually asking her what she needs help with how dare he show any caring or consideration for her needs or wants what a rude he is to even think that that's appropriate and i already know where she's gonna go next just wait for it i get where you're going with that no i don't think you do i know what you think it's doing but it's not doing the thing that you think it's doing oh i bet you're right on that because as i've already said women don't appreciate a damn thing men do for them it's never enough and the day any woman shows appreciation to the man in her life is usually the first day he's ever seen any appreciation from her or any woman for that matter it simply doesn't happen and the proof of it is we've already established that the reason a man asks that is he's trying to be caring and attentive to the woman's needs and you're literally saying it ain't good enough in other words it's not appreciated in any way, shape, or form. And I already know where this is going to lead to. Let's find out if I'm right. Not only he, but every man who isn't living under a rock knows what her next words are going to be. But the thing that has changed now is that men genuinely don't care about what women complain about because they have had enough of it. Because that means your partner is still in charge of the mental load of figuring out what needs to be done in the house. cleaning like that's their job if you are not proactively doing those things without being told you are by default leaving your wife or girlfriend in charge of those things just as i expected another variation on it's not good enough to just do the things you have to be able to read her mind and know what things she wants done and to all you ladies nodding your head going yeah you go girl here's what i want you to do tell me what's in my mind right now that i want you to do go ahead we'll wait no it has nothing to do with sex no it's not that i want you to make me a sandwich no it's not that either tell you what you keep thinking because you should be able to read my mind just like you expect us to read yours and at the end of the video i'll let you know what it is in the meantime let's see what other pearls of wisdom she's sharing with the men and this is not for like things that are assigned tasks so sometimes you know people will split housework in a household and say like these are your tasks these are my tasks and if i need help, general things that need to get done even like you know vacuuming the floors like scrubbing a toilet you know even things as simple as like making the bed or like refilling your like water filter or whatever oh you mean the things that men do on a daily basis that you don't give him credit for because he did them the way he wanted to do them not the way you want them done as every man knows Women only count it when it's done her way, because her way is the only way. Women give no consideration whatsoever that their way might not be the best way or the only way. Oh no, none of it counts unless it's done to perfection the way she wants it. So if he doesn't fold the towels right, or he doesn't put the 42 pillows that she wants on the bed every morning in exactly the order she wants them, none of it matters, none of it counts, and he's just an inconsiderate, uncaring dolt.